major furry site called Fur Affinity, which Twitter has 41,000 followers and is described as the world's largest community of furries, anthros, dragons, and more, has been hacked. If you're part of the furry fandom, you may have noticed an event recently where the incredibly popular site known as Fur Affinity had its domain and Twitter account hijacked. But you may also be wondering why so many people have been talking about it and how Fur Affinity grew to be so popular today. Along with a few other bits and pieces, that will be what I will be going over in this video. I hope you enjoy. On the 16th of January in 2005, Fur Affinity was launched as an alternative site to Sheezy Art for people in the furry fandom to publish their artwork in a place which was specifically designed for them. Unfortunately, Fur Affinity appeared to be rushed to production and suffered from many security issues which allowed an event to take place where ill-intentioned people were able to gain administrator access, allowing them to do whatever they liked to the site. Although this led to a temporary shutdown, it didn't last very long. Over the remaining months of 2005, around 1,500 US dollars was donated by the users of the site to go towards the hosting of the service and to allow it to continue running. This ended up being very beneficial as around May of 2006, Sheezy Art banned any anthropomorphic art from being uploaded to their site which drove more people to look for an alternative, such as Fur Affinity. In July of 2011, the owner of Fur Affinity announced that Ferocity, which was another large anthropomorphic art website at the time, would be merging with Fur Affinity, but didn't give any reason for why this was or post any public statements before this happened, as far as I'm aware. Although this merge didn't go as smooth as they planned, it did end up bringing about seven members of Ferocity's staff team over to Fur Affinity before Ferocity eventually shut down in late 2012 due to an unknown reason after a few alleged hacking attempts. In March of 2015, IMVU, a 3D avatar chat system provider of some sort, acquired for Affinity in its entirety, again with no prior notice and a full two months after the sale before a statement was made that IMVU purchased for Affinity. However, after the owner of Fur Affinity lost his employment and health insurance with IMVU in early 2021, he regained sole ownership of the site and everything appeared to carry on as normal for the most part up until August in 2024. Between 2007 and 2019, Fur Affinity was affiliated with a convention called FA United, which had a main goal of strengthening the furry fandom's bond. According to the contributors on Wikifur, although it wasn't ever a super large convention like Texas Furry Fiesta or Anthrocon, it seemed like it was quite a cozy convention where many enjoyed hanging out whenever it was being hosted. Unfortunately, in 2020, due to COVID-19 restrictions and the convention being relatively small, it was unable to continue and was shut down by Dragoneer when he stated in a tweet that FA United was closing its doors. From 2007 all the way to 2024, Dragoneer always had at least some say in how Fur Infinity was run whether that be through his own companies or through IMVU. He joined for Affinity in early 2005, where he fell in love with the community and helped the previous owner, Alcora, get the site back up and running after many server-related issues, gaining him the role lead administrator when the site returned and then purchasing it for about 2,500 US dollars in October of 2007. Disaster struck sometime in 2024, however, when Dragoneer was diagnosed with a variety of respiratory-related conditions and sadly passed away on August 6th, 2024 from these conditions causing complications. Although this horrible event will be remembered by anybody who used Fur Affinity throughout the years, it is best to remember Dragoneer for all of the positive that they did for the furry fandom, instead of the unfortunate events that led up to his untimely demise. Of course, if you would like to donate to help Dragoneer's family cover medical costs, funeral costs, and generally keep Fur Affinity afloat, I have put a link in the description to their official GoFundMe campaign. And with that, I hope you all have a fantastic day.